Hi y'all, welcome back to my channel. My name is Ikea. If you're new here, thank you so much for joining. And if you're returning, thank you so much for coming back. You are definitely a real one. So it is the end of February. It is also the end of Black History Month. And I wanted to do something special for Black History Month. I wanted to shed light on a Black-owned fragrance. And the fragrance um, brand that I want to talk about is World of Chris. Collins. So World of Chris Collins is the first black owned fragrance brand to be launched in Sephora, which is a huge accomplishment. And I was able to get my hands on a few of their fragrances. So I wanted to share my thoughts on each of the fragrances, as well as give you a little bit more information on the brand. So if that is something that you're interested in, then keep on watching. And before we get started, be sure to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed, of course. Also, be sure to subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already. And do not forget to click on that notification bell so you do not miss out on a single video. So World of Chris Collins is a fragrance brand which was created by Chris Collins. He previously was a world-renowned model. He even modeled for Ralph Lauren. And in his journey in his previous career, he really traveled the world, which inspired him to create a fragrance line, which is called World of Chris Collins. Um, recently, he launched his fragrances in Sephora, but he's actually been coming out with fragrances for quite Quite a while. I believe he first launched his first fragrances back in 2017. He has a variety of different fragrances on the website as well as Sephora and they are for a variety of different fragrance lovers. So I was able to pick up three of the fragrances and I'm going to share my thoughts on all three of them. So I ended up picking up Lost in Paradise, A Kiss Goodnight, and Don Sauvage. And I believe these are three very different types of fragrances which is what I was aiming for so I am just going to give you all my thoughts on all three scents. So I first want to share the presentation of the packaging because it's absolutely beautiful and very very luxurious. So each of the fragrances come in this really beautiful box and the box opens up like this which holds the fragrance and it's actually padded with velvet which is absolutely beautiful. So each of the fragrances from Chris Collins are 1.7 fluid ounces and they come in these really beautiful shape bottles. They're actually in a shape of a flask. These were inspired by speakeasies in the 1920s and Chris Collins said that he was inspired by those to put his fragrances in flasks because they give a nice fragrance, a luxurious experience. I actually think that's really cute. I do really love the packaging of these fragrances. So the first fragrance I want to share is Lost in Paradise and this is a fresh solar fragrance. In here there are notes of peach skin, ylang ylang, there's also some coconut water and salted musks. Ooh, This is really beautiful. This is like a really nice fresh aquatic fragrance. I feel like this is going to be really perfect in the spring and especially in the summer. This is like taking me on a tropical vacation. So if you think about some of like your favorite coconut scents or some of the more popular coconut scents like Soleil Blanc from Tom Ford or even Vanilla Coco from um, K. Ali, this is giving me that similar vibe, but this one isn't um, heavy in the vanilla. This is more of a fresh coconut scent. That coconut water is really, really beautiful in here. I also really get notes of the peach as it's drying down and I really enjoy that peach and coconut combo. The ylang ylang is really smelling nicely in this fragrance as well. Mm. And that salted musk smells amazing. It kind of reminds you of just like the sea salt at in the ocean or at the beach. This is a really beautiful fragrance. 
So I'm not gonna spray this one on my skin just yet because I do have more fragrances to share. But so far, I really do enjoy this. I feel like this is gonna be a nice everyday fragrance, especially in the summertime. This is giving me tropical vacation vibes. And I could definitely see myself packing this on vacation. It is so, so beautiful. So just imagine like sea salt mixed with a little bit of coconut, mixed with a little bit of musk. That is what this fragrance is giving me. And I think the name is very suitable, Lost in Paradise. Absolutely perfect. So this one I am a fan of so far. I really do enjoy this scent. And again, this one is Lost in Paradise. So next we have Don Sauvage. This is actually not a new release. This is one of the original fragrances, but I really like the inspiration behind this. This fragrance was actually inspired by Josephine Baker. So this is a warm and spicy fragrance, which is also a little boozy. There's cognac accord in here. There is plum and cedarwood. Now reading those notes, this seems right up my alley because I am a warm, spicy kind of person. And I absolutely love boozy fragrances. I like to smell like I'm at a jazz club or something. And I also like something that leans a little masculine. So I'm really excited to try this one out. I love the inspiration behind this one as well. Ooh. Okay. I... Think this is really spicy. This is warm and spicy, like the description said. It's absolutely beautiful. I feel like I smell some cinnamon in here. So the cedar wood stands out to me the most in this fragrance, along with that cognac accord, but this is really good. Mmm. This gives me similar vibes to Jazz Club from Replica. This also kind of gives me similar vibes to Black Orchid from Tom Ford. So the main notes in here are just plum, cognac accord, and cedarwood, but I feel like there are more notes in here. And I feel like this fragrance is a little complex, which I absolutely love. And if you've smelled Black Orchid, from Tom Ford. You know how complex that fragrance is. That's what this is giving me as well. This is absolutely beautiful. Mm. Now, I would definitely say that Don Sauvage is a unisex scent. It actually leans a little bit more masculine to me. Um, again, it reminds me of Jazz Club or even Black Orchid. And just it gives me a feeling of being at a speakeasy or like being at a jazz bar, a cigar bar, something like that. Um, I would think that this one is a nighttime fragrance. It's definitely giving me nighttime vibes. Um, but it's absolutely beautiful. The smokiness, the the warmth, the spice. I love this fragrance. This is up my alley because again, I am a warm, spicy kind of person and I love unisex scents that lean a little masculine. So this one is, this one is good. So it doesn't mention in this fragrance that there's cinnamon, but I still feel like I'm smelling a little bit of cinnamon in here, which is adding to that spiciness. I don't get a ton of the plum. I feel like the plum is kind of playing in the background, but to me, more of the cedar wood and that cognac boozy note is definitely standing out. So if you like a warm, spicy, boozy fragrance, I would definitely recommend this one. Um, and another fragrance that this kind of reminds me of is Grand Soir from MFK. So if you like those like kind of raspy fragrances, I don't know if that's a great way to describe it, but it's a little raspy, um, it's very deep and warm, then I would definitely recommend this one. It smells absolutely beautiful. Oh my gosh. Ugh. This is one of those fragrances that you gotta save for like a special occasion. Like this is not an everyday, any old kind of occasion scent. This is one that you definitely have to save for something nice. Like if you're going to a gala or something like that, that's what I would imagine somebody would wear this to. Or even again, if you're going to like a jazz bar or something really fancy, then um, that's what I would probably wear this to. But this one is Don Sauvage and I really like this one as well. So, so far we are two for two, okay? Two for two. We're gonna go on to the next one. 
Okay, so the last fragrance that we have is Long Kiss Goodnight, and this is also a newly released fragrance, which is exclusively sold at Sephora. So this is actually um, a warm and spicy fragrance as well. In here, there are notes of coffee beans, rose centifolia, and peony, which those notes all sound good to me. Ooh. Ooh. Okay. I really like this one. <sighs> Y'all, I like all three of them, okay? I like all three of them. Um, This one is absolutely beautiful. I feel like there's Turkish rose in here. It doesn't specify, but I feel like there's some Turkish rose in here. This is a beautiful, creamy fragrance. It's a little sweet with that coffee. Absolutely love this. Mmm. I feel like all three of the notes are standing out in the scent, the peony, the rose, and the coffee beans. Now, this is giving me similar vibes to Mason Francis Kirk Dijon's Gentle Fluidity Gold. This is also giving me similar vibes to Intense Cafe from Montal, or even like Rose's Vanille from Monsera. This is absolutely beautiful. I don't know what it is about rose and coffee fragrances that I absolutely gravitate towards and love. But this is done right. This smells so good. So Long Kiss Goodnight is absolutely beautiful. I feel like this is probably the one that I gravitate towards the most, even though I just said that I gravitated towards the other two as well. To me, this is just a little bit more feminine. It is warm, but I don't really get a ton of the spice. This is supposed to be a warm and spicy scent. I don't get a ton of the spice. To me, this is a warm floral. Again, I smell some rose. I'm assuming it's Turkish rose, but I smell the rose. I smell the peony and I smell the coffee and it's absolutely amazing. It is divine. The coffee note in here is making this scent a little creamy and I really, really like this. I'm actually going to spray this one on my skin because this smells so, so beautiful. Oh my goodness. Yeah, I love this. On my skin, that coffee is really standing out mixed with the peony. This is absolutely beautiful. So again, think of fragrances like Gentle Fluidity Gold or Intense Cafe. That's the kind of vibe that this is giving me. Now, this is a unisex scent and I believe all of the Chris Collins fragrances are unisex. To me, this one is out of the three that I've tried, leans the most feminine. This is perfect for like an everyday kind of brunch. Uh, maybe if you're doing like a happy hour or even if you're doing something nice, uh, maybe like a date night. I think that this is really, really great. I really enjoy this fragrance a lot. Like I really enjoy this fragrance. Absolutely beautiful. Mmm. You know, as it's sitting on my skin, it's kind of even giving me Delina exclusive vibes. Like the mix between that rose and the peony is making it a little creamy. I again think the scent is so beautiful. Long Kiss Goodnight is good. So my overall thoughts on the world of Chris Collins fragrances is that I actually really like all three of them. I like that all three of the fragrances that I chose are very different from each other and you can wear them for different occasions. So I really love Long Kiss Goodnight because this is a nice um, floral and it's very feminine to me. I also really love Don Sauvage because this one is just very deep and spicy and very boozy. To me, this is like very mysterious and definitely for like the nighttime. And then this one, Lost in Paradise, just definitely gives me vacation vibes. It makes me want to be on the beach. And I feel like this is great for all three types of vibes. Like if I were going on vacation or traveling, I would actually travel with all three of these fragrances because again, they give off three different types of vibes. So if I had to rank all three of these fragrances just based off of my preference, I would say number one would be Long Kiss Goodnight. I just like how feminine and flirty this fragrance is. The creaminess of the florals is actually really nice to me as well. So this would be my number one. Number two for me would be Don Sauvage because I'm a sucker for warm 
spicy, boozy scents, and this gives me just that. Again, I would probably save this one for a special occasion though, but it's absolutely beautiful. And then the last one I would say is Lost in Paradise, only because this gives me vacation vibes. And to me, this is a more catered toward the spring and the summertime. The other two fragrances I feel like you can wear year round, but this one is definitely giving me tropical vacation vibes. So overall, I do really enjoy the fragrances that I purchased from Chris Collins. I'm definitely going to play around with them and update y'all on the performance of the fragrances. But based off of just my first impression or my initial thoughts of these fragrances, they are absolutely beautiful. I feel like you can't go wrong with either of those three. I'm excited to actually try out more fragrances from Chris Collins because there are a variety of fragrances if you look on the Chris Collins website or even on Sephora, there is a huge range of scents and I feel like they will be great for any fragrance lover. But that is everything y'all. I thank y'all so much for watching this video. Comment down below and let me know if you've smelled or tried any of the fragrances from Chris Collins. Let me know what your favorites are and if you are interested in the brand, then let me know um, which ones you have on your wish list. Again, I thank y'all so much for watching this video. Be sure to give it a thumbs up if you enjoy it, of course. Also, be sure to subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already. And do not forget to check me out on social media. My Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok will be linked down below in the description box, as well as all of the fragrances that I mentioned in this video. I hope y'all have a great one. Stay safe, and I will talk to you later. Bye!